United Nations, including the United Nations Population Fund, or UNFPA, has confirmed that it will continue to support the Lao government under the cooperation framework to enable the government to design a clear development strategy. Deputy Minister of Planning and Investment Dr. Kikiao Chantaburi thanked UNFPA for the support and engagement extended to the Lao government. Dr. Kikiao made the statement when speaking at an online meeting between the Lao government, the UNFPA and other development partners to finalize the seventh country program for 2022-2026. The Nangnoi Girls Groups Youth-Friendly Services. Technical consultations were held with government stakeholders and development partners. Participants noted the relevance of technical aspects and key strategies and intervention for Laos. And safe accommodation or shelter. To ensure that no one is left behind, the mandate is addressed from the design stage. Consultations included right holders, youth, pregnant women, civil society organizations, people with disability, and the LGBTIQ community engaged and provided comments to the process of seventh country program development. And what are the additional innovations and areas of growth that we will be exploring? Speaking at an online meeting between the Lao government, UNFPA, and other development partners to finalize the seventh country program for 2022 to 2026. UNFPA representative to the Lao PDR, Ms. Miriam A. Khan, said since the start of the pandemic, UNFPA has supported the COVID-19 response in Laos with a focus on the safety of pregnant and lactating women, as well as protection services for those who may require shelter and services due to abuse and increasing access to mental health and psychosocial services for young people. The comprehensive process that we went into was closely aligned to the national development processes. Ms. Khan said adding Laos is in the early stages of a demographic transition with accelerating urbanization. Age-appropriate urgent human capital investments now can yield short and long-term returns, especially if a focus is placed on the 80,000 young people who will enter the job market annually over the next 10 years. On this occasion, I would like to express my sincere thank uh, to our UNPA colleges under the leadership of, of course, Mariam for the support and engagement extended to the government of the Lao PDR, uh, especially through this kind of the cooperation program. My for his part, Deputy Minister of Planning and Investment Dr. Kikiao Chantaburi thanked UNPA for the support and engagement extended to the government. My appreciation uh, also goes to concern Lai Ministry, Development Partner, uh, and all those relevant stakeholders who have been providing support and engagement in the current CPD. Your continued support, dialogue, and close uh, collaboration are highly valued and it will help further strengthen our national effort to achieve uh, our development agenda. Amongst the speakers who made interventions highlighting the relevance of UNFPA's work and the ICPD mandate, for Laos to achieve the sustainable development goals were in elections in order to respond effectively to women's empowerment. EU Ambassador Ina Marcello Knight. I appreciate that UNFPA attaches importance to quality of data analysis so that we can run the necessary coverage of policy as well as effects of our assistance. Japanese Ambassador Keizo Takewaka and Australian Ambassador Paul Kelly. The social stresses brought on by COVID-19 also have short and long-term implications for empowerment of women. It may also mean that girls are forced into early age marriages, which can lead to mental and physical health implications and an increase in the likelihood of self-harm or violence. Participants from government, international non-government organizations and civil society organizations also expressed support for the content of the seventh country program. The final validation meeting with a broad group of development partners are a vital piece of the finalization process. So the seventh country program is fully aligned and addresses Laos emerging needs and priorities, including the Nairobi ICPD 25 commitment and the United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework. Document 2020.